Tawin, Tawin, Tawin. I'm begging you, please don't take a moment. How's it going, dude? Good. How are you? Congratulations are you? on this. Thank you, thank, thank you. I, I like got it. Four subscribers now. It's and, amazing. Uh, all four of them. I mean, I'm trying to trying to open a Patreon so I can start getting paid for it, but I don't think these people <laughs> are ready to pay. Yeah, all four especially of them is your family. Yeah, especially the, <laughs> <laughs> the three of them is me on different accounts, <laughs> and then I've got the wife, so it's not going to hey, work. You got to start everything. somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Mm, I do. So I want to, you know, let people know a little bit about you. Okay. So. Because obviously nobody knows who you are. I mean, I'm to be fair, before before the last podcast, nobody knew who I was. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're kind of both in the same boat, but we'll, we'll try and see how it goes from there. So tell me, we'll tell them because I already know. Yeah, man, I'm. Uh, I've been in Dubai for about six years. You and I have been friends for like what, four years. Yeah, around, around about that. Four years. Yeah. Uh, I moved from Los Angeles. I'm American. Oh, Los Angeles. L.A. I'm an okay. L.A. Valley girl. Actually, I'm originally from the East Coast, but I moved to L.A. Yeah. Uh, for the music business. I was in the music business since I was nine years old, professionally. Because you sang for the Pope, right? <clears throat> I sang for the Pope when I was 12 years old. And you're lucky um, that you were a 12-year-old girl, because if you were a 12-year-old boy, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it, it would have been, <laughs> been a different story. I would have said, you, sa <laughs> you sang for the Pope, right? And you would have gone... Yeah. Well, we and had some distance between us. Up. That's terrible. Yeah, though. you always need a social distance from priests. That's to be bad. Fair. That's he was the good pope. I like I like that pope. I like this pope too. The but the one before this pope was uh, he's a bit the dodgy. Good, the good pope is in. He he put a condom on before. Oh or? my! What? No, I'm I'm joking. I'm joking. So yeah, so I sang for the pope. Okay. And um, <laughs> what did what did you sing for him? I sang the Ave Maria, oh. an oh. opera. Ave Maria. Okay. No, and it's crazy because like. While I was sing like while I was in that moment, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Mm. To be honest, I was just like, okay, this is whatever. And then now, as an adult, like mm. looking back on it, I'm like, holy shit! Like that's literally holy shit. Yeah. I'm like, that's really cool that I got to do where, that. Where was it though? It was in Bethlehem, which made it even cooler, right in Manger Square. Okay. Uh, and then I sang for him a second time in the Armenian church in the Armenian convent, and he blessed me and gave me a rosary and wait wait what, what do you mean he blessed you he ble like i was on my knees and he you know did the whole thing and did you feel that so ever I, since he did that life's been great i don't have to go to church anymore like That's that was it. a You're free done. pass you've been blessed for life That's he literally it. just did he yeah. put the run dmc chain <laughs> yes on your on your thing well to be fair <laughs> like i'm kitted out totally in adidas now i look like i'm coming from some sort of run dmc for you or something like that <laughs> you but just I'm, need the I'm chain not, i've got the chain i'm just not wearing it around my neck <laughs> somewhere else um yeah, so also Armenian. Yes. So, th I mean, there's a lot of stereotypes about Armenians. Let's hear you it. You know, rich, you know, wealthy sisters, all that stuff. You know, like the Kardashians. Like I don't know who they are. Yeah, you know who they are. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's good that you don't fall into that kind of stereotype. Like having, oh, a, no, having I, a sister, dad being a lawyer and all that kind <laughs> of stuff. <laughs> my, so my you dad do have a sister, right? <laughs> yes, I do. Just mm -hmm. one sister. It's not a whole what, litter. What does your, your dad do? He's a lawyer. Oh, he's a lawyer. But he did like not defend so, O.J. Okay. Simpson. <laughs> okay. And, uh, well, at least your mom doesn't manage all of your <laughs> all of your music and stuff, right? What does what your mom do? She's my manager. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So you pretty mu much are the Kardashians. <laughs> Haven't made a sex tape that w that's been that's publicly been released. <laughs> <laughs> that's been released. But maybe. No. Wait for episode three. I'm going <laughs> to try to find that footage and bring it in here. Um, okay. Um, no, I mean, look, I, I, I think the Kardashians have done an, a wonderful job for uh, Armenia. They've given back. They've put Armenia on the map. You can't, you where, can't where take is, where away. Where is it on the map? <laughs> <laughs> it is between Iran, Turkey, and Georgia. It used to be most of Turkey, but then, okay. you know, after the genocide, it kind of, you know, shrunk. It did shrink. One would say, never forget. Hashtag never forget. Hashtag never forget. Uh, it was just, we just celebrated our, uh, you know, memorial. I mean, to be fair, it, I don't think anybody can forget. That's good. They shouldn't. Not because do of the genocide, you just because you keep reminding us <laughs> never to forget. <laughs> April 24th. <laughs> you do realize, though, that can we, I just want to know your stance on it. Hmm. Do you believe that there was a genocide? Uh, if I'm going to be fair. Yeah. And, and honest, I want an honest I don't answer. know enough about it. Okay. To, to, to give you an honest answer. But I'm always up for pointing the finger at someone else and saying, you horrible people. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. Because I, you know how I am. I'm just yeah. weird. And I like thinking that the world is a horrible place. And there's about five of us good people who, who you know, 
want to still be good and yeah. do good things. Well, I was watching this thing on the internet that this comedian on a podcast recently hmm. by the name of Kurt Metzger, okay. okay, he's not American, obviously, okay. completely denied that there's a genocide. And it's but, like, bro, but, you of all people, you know, I don't want to get Armenian? too... Metzger, okay, no. I mean, he's a youth. Past the Gavilta fish, yeah, okay. he's yeah. definitely that, you know. So it's like you of all people, like, it's are the last about, person. Yeah, but it's not about just you of all people. It's, I find it very strange when people are like, get over it, and or it didn't happen, and I'm like, you're 18 years old. What do you know? What happened and yeah, what didn't happen? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's the same thing with. Uh, I don't like getting political in this podcast. And I say that like I've done more than one episode <laughs> and it's a thing <laughs> the way I do things that it's not. But, you know, like when when I when I hear white people in America saying kind of they have to get over the slavery and all that stuff. Yeah, I hate and that. And I'm like, mate, it yeah. wasn't too long ago. Right. Where white people were lining up. Yeah. Hanging black people mm -hmm. with popcorn in their hands. And it was an event. And it still I mean? happens. And it still happens. And, and it was an event. And and the stuff that happened, like, it's just like. I know, man. That's why. But I don't why, like uh, to get into it too I know. much. Even like with conspiracies, I love conspiracies. Yeah, but it's like, like if you I, go down yeah, that rabbit hole, I like love hearing about you know the Freemasons and the I am so yeah. and, and the Rockefellers and Rothschilds. But it's it's when you start wearing peace chain necklaces and start going through it, you know. Right. And you're a guy who grew up in, you know, Kensington, and you're wearing a dashiki, and it's <laughs> like, mate, come on, like get. <laughs> No matter how deep it is, you will never be able to change anything that's happening. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, you will never have any effect. Right. No matter how many YouTube videos you post. If it is real and it's happening, if it is real, Israel, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Zion, it, no. If this it, is yeah, a conspiracy. If it, if it is happening, there's nothing you can do about it. So watch some Netflix, get over it. And, and then chill. Just carry, yeah, carry yeah I know, day. man. I know. That's why I'm really supportive of what you're doing here because I feel like you're kind of, I don't know. Right now, I feel like we need just positivity. Like my husband, for example, he, I'm not trying to like, you know, do a plug in. in insert, <laughs> insert page link right up there or right down there. No, well, but to be fair, I don't have anyone that is doing any of the other things. So I don't know how to put these things up there. So until you so figure that imagine, out. Yeah. yeah no, no, it's true. really good. No, the so let me tell you. So, yeah. he, so it's called The Bonin and he is basically being himself and I'm mm. filming it. And He's, he loves cooking. He's, yeah. you know, a cooking enthusiast, eating enthusiast. He loves good food. And, you know, so many times, especially, you know, with this whole quarantine, he'd be cooking and, you know, drinking and having a laugh yeah, yeah. and this and that. And I was like, you know what? Like, we should just totally videotape and this put it out there. and put it out there. And we kind of talked about it for mm. a little bit. And he was always like, no, you know, I just, I'm such a private guy. Cause he but is, the thing right? Is, he's like me. Yeah. He's, I'm very private. Yes. I've got, I've got two and a half friends. Yeah. I don't go out. I don't <laughs> What's go that out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, one of them got decapitated and in the top half still working. He just hobbles around my house when he comes to see me. I like to take him back to the car in a wheelbarrow. Um, yeah, I'm very private. But on the other side of me, I'm so audacious and outgoing yeah. and joking. And, right. and Ralph's exactly the same. Yeah. Like, big time. He's, so private but if you sit with him for a second you're pissing yourself laughing exactly. you know what i mean so exactly. that's why it works i think that's yeah that's why it works with gordon ramsay mm -hmm. um the difference between gordon ramsay and, and the other little one the english one what's his name J um, jamie jamie oliver yeah the the audience for jamie oliver i feel like will be you know Completely different. some women middle-aged women who yeah. want to actually know how to cook stuff people who will watch the bone in with Ralph or gordon ramsay are people that want to see someone with character exactly make light of the whole situation exactly and cook something at the same time totally and that's what it is and rafi like he doesn't take himself too seriously mm. it's not like he's cordon bleu or he yeah, went yeah. you know to chef school he wishes he did but like it's just him being yeah, him yeah. And having a good time, yeah. and so that's why I was so excited and the when food I found looks out. So good as food well. Food is so good. I mean, to be fair, there's been a couple of dishes that I've saw that I've wanted to put my bone in person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like it's no, it's really good. Yeah, it is uh, good. Editor, drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, yeah, and and it works because because just the way he is. Yeah. And that's why I think people want to watch it because it's engaging and and also like watching the bloopers reel you put out the other day. Oh my like gosh. I felt like some of them should have been in the videos. I know. Themselves. And we talked about that. We're like, should we make it a little bit more fun yeah. and not so? Because, yeah. I mean, it is fun. But it but is, though. It, it is. is. Yeah. You're, you're, you're seeing it in a way like you and him will watch, even like me, when I watched the first one I did with Wes and I'm editing it, every scene I'm editing and I'm pausing, I'm cracking up laughing because yeah. of the words that will come out. But right. then I'm just like 
it's even yeah. cringe is it, seeing is it myself hard, Is it hard it. for you to watch yourself and hear yourself? No, I'm, I'm a pretty big deal. So <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. No, no, yeah. It's, it's weird because I know what's coming next yeah. while I'm saying it. Yeah. But then I know it's going to be good because I'm still laughing as, I, as I'm editing it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I like it. So yeah, so the bone in, we, you know, it's on uh, Instagram. Instagram. He's live and at the bone three, in. Yeah, at the bone in, three days a week, he cooks a new dish and yeah. he talks about sports, tequila. It's fun, man. Yeah. I mean, it's just a good time. I was telling him he used to slow down because he's gonna run out of money for the food. I am telling and you. And I realized you're rich. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. So one time we were out in. Uh, oh my god. In a restaurant. This is. And I'm not proud of this we, moment. We, we were ordering <laughs> food, so it was me, my wife, Raf, and Tal. So we're ordering food and, <laughs> and there's, there's, there's a meal coming in and, and one of the meals says, do you want extra shrimp or something like that? So I'm like, the mm. waiter says, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I want extra shrimp. But then each shrimp was like 50 dirhams, like one shrimp. So four of them would have been 200, dirhams, which is about 40 quid. So me just being a normal person, <laughs> you know, was like, I'm not going to pay, you know, 10 pounds for each shrimp and get four shrimp in there. So their dish already came with shrimp. Okay, so, you know, thought nothing of it. Everyone thought nothing of it, apart from this one who had cogs turning into her head. Okay, who I, comes I down and we're sitting down. Thinking. She, so picture it like this. She's sitting here, her husband's sitting there. We're sitting on this side in front. She puts her hand <laughs> on the inside of her mouth. So you guys can see we can, can see still see mouth. her mouth. <laughs> and then goes, babe. Give, give them some shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, what? He looks at her and goes, why are you saying it? And she said it really loud. And he's like, well, they don't want shrimp. But like the second it was coming out of my mouth, I was like, what the fuck am but I what saying? Did you, did you felt I, like I couldn't afford the shrimp. I, I don't know. I felt like it was a little bit of a twist. <laughs> a little bit of porridge. A little please, bit of shrimp. Please, sir. Please, can I have sir, some more? Just a little. Yeah. You know, I, I, wanted, I wanted to give you a shrimp. And that's been, that's been that's like the been private joke the ever ongoing, since. That's uh, been the that you get some shrimp stuff. Yeah. That is going on. I do apologize for that. Yeah, well, some of us just live in apartments and stuff <laughs> and uh, have to live a normal life. <laughs> you know? What can we do? That was Another good, good thing, you mm. just had a little baby girl. I did. A well, she's, gabby. she's gonna be a year old it's next month. Crazy, right? It's nuts. And it like, flies. honestly, in the last like three weeks, I would say, I'm just noticing just a personality. Mm. Like before then, it was just kind of like food, sleep, yeah. shit. Yeah. Now it's like she's like manipulating me and yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. she's figuring things out and yeah. like she'll she has an attitude yeah, a little yeah, yeah. bit. I'm just like, who is this diva? But like how amazing it is watching them it's, grow. It's kind of a trip. Yeah. Like it's overwhelming. Sometimes I look at her and I'm like I get anxiety. I'm just like, I can't believe right. I I create it's the most beautiful thing and in the world. And everything changes, right? Now you understand when I was sending you pictures, is that when you become yeah. a parent, oh, you send so pictures of your kids to everyone. Like I was yeah, but even you were overboard. No, no, no. I, I, was, I, mean, I didn't I, need to see their yeah, dick. I, <laughs> yeah, you did because, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'd go through wink, my, wink. I'd go through my phone, and I'd, I'd, I'd find somebody I haven't messaged in like two years. I just send them a picture, and I'd just be like, <laughs> "Go ahead, kid." <laughs> and they'd be like, "That's how cool. I am on Instagram. Like I post. So, uh, if you look yeah. at my Instagram before I had a baby, that's like mine. Mine like, all changed. I, it just cha like I was like mm, duck yeah. face, this that. You know. Now it's like I'm like pampers. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh but it's also because it's all about her. To, uh, TikTok. Yeah. Right. Let's but talk let, about TikTok. Let's let's hear it. What do you got to say about <laughs> it? You know you like my dances. I got skills. Okay. Are they multiplying? Yeah. Are you losing control? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So TikTok. I mean. I was, I was so against it, okay? I was like, this is like for 18-year-olds. Dude, once you start, and you would be so good at it because you no. have like the physical humor. Yes. Once you start and you figure it out because the hardest part of TikTok is figuring it out. Figuring out what? You just... No, it's tough. You, you have to film. like... No, you have to sync the sounds. You have to find the sounds. Do you know how long it took me to edit the last video of this? How do you long? think I want to do any more editing? <laughs> okay, no. Four hours and I only got two cameras done and I still got <laughs> another camera to do it. I'm not going to sit there But once you get the that. hang of this, move on to TikTok. Okay, but it's, it's my outlet. It's different. Yeah, but just take cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> but see, before, like watching other people do TikTok, it's fine. I'll watch it. But watching you do TikTok, for me, is Why? just so hilarious. Why? Because, Why? Because 
I know your character. Is it cringe? So when, am I? Am for I? For me, but it's funny cringe because oh, fuck. I know I'm cringe. No, I know you, and I know how you are when you do something wrong. I know how you are when. Oh, so you've yeah. like you've so seen I, me rehearsing I go through it. The, yeah, so I go through that one minute <laughs> like, dance. It's yeah, <laughs> one minute dance, and then I say for you to have got it that good. No, you've dude, done I'm this just for good. an hour and a half, nope. two hours. Nope, dude. I I I used to dance at Millennium Dance Studios in LA. For anyone Me, that you doesn't at Millennium know, Millennium Dance Studios. Yes. You danced at Millennium Dance Studios. Yes. What's Millennium? Dance Studios? <laughs> it's one of the most famous dance studios in LA. So I, not that I'm a trained dancer, but like, okay. I would dance there. So it okay, doesn't okay, take okay. me what an hour. What do you mean by I half. would dance there? Because I'm sure that you know, I in could. In the parking lot. Yeah, I'm sure I could go into Millennium Studios today. <laughs> yeah, you pay for could, class. And I could dance and then go. I danced at Millennium Studios. <laughs> you pay for classes, but okay. but you learn a lot. And so I, I feel yeah, like my you foundation. Can't say, you can't say, I danced at American Pineapple. What's it called? American Pineapple? Millennium it? Dance Studios. Millennium I, Dance Studios. But I can because yeah, I did. Yeah, but if you dance anyway, you're dancing. Sure, but you still did it there. Yeah, it, there just, wasn't like yeah, an audition Yeah, but you didn't prompt. dance for. No, but, right, but I if learned. If you danced for them, that's one thing. But you just paid <laughs> your entry, went in there and did a dance class. <laughs> That's completely different. But what I'm saying is I learned from a lot of those choreographers. You, you learned. Is that I, a music I learned, or an acting this thing is a, No, learned. this is a okay. dance move. Okay. Um, and so it doesn't take me. I, although the J-Lo one that I did took me about an hour. That was hard. I'm being honest. I but mean, usually they take me 20 minutes tops. I'm not, I don't, I'm a mom now, dude. If my kid is asleep, I'm going to TikTok. To be fair, I, I've never really been into dancing as well. I just think it's arrogant walking. Um, <laughs> I've never understood it. I've never understood dancing in bars and clubs. Like, you know me, I only go to clubs anyway. I'm trying to think if, I if go, I've ever seen you no, dance. You'll see me move my shoulders. Like, you've like, like this. joked around. Yeah, I will like joke in the dance. gym. Yeah, or, or even in a club, I'll joke dance. You know why? You know that, that two seconds, like, <laughs> and you know be, why? Can you know, I tell you why? Because you don't drink alcohol. Yeah, of alcohol, course. Alcohol, you know, is a social lubricant, right? So, like, once you drink, you can dance. Like, to yeah, be sober I'll, Sally in a club, like, I wouldn't dance. Yeah, but there are people who love to do that. Like, there's yeah, people who love to dance. There's people who rehearse their stuff just to go out and do it in the clubs. Yeah, that's... And when there's three of you doing the same thing, it's... Like, I could like never... Like a flash mob? Uh, no, flash mob's like 30 <laughs> people. Three people is just a dance group. <laughs> no, like, for example... I love African dance, like yeah. as on Togos and all that stuff. Like it, it, when we're in Zanzibar, they're all dancing. I'll get up there and, and do it because it's what, fun. What it's is a it? Fun like dance. give me the hands. What like I, I felt like it would what be kind drums of dance or something. <laughs> <laughs> and why do I have two guys with me while I'm doing it? No, no. Like you know, it, it, it's more fun. Yeah. You know, it's not like so serious. Jambo, jambo don't buana. you, don't you like, do like, like nice. don't but you when do you capoeira? The, yeah, when you see this. That all that yeah, kind of that's like and and when you see like, like the pop. like seeing for me seeing a pretty girl crumping for me is like w one of the yeah it's it's like oh she walked past and i'll be like oh man and then she'll start going <laughs> and making these face expressions and okay i'm, I'm like, not doing that on my tiktok mine is more no, sexy the and the pussycat doll thing yeah exactly yeah. that spot on i think you will find that was spot on <laughs> <laughs> so what else is new yeah, so just mom life and trying to keep sane in these crazy ass times. It's crazy what's happening. What do happening you mean by then? keep sane? Because I have to keep sane because we weren't allowed out of our apartment. I couldn't take the boys to the beach. Yeah. I couldn't go to the gym. Yeah. I couldn't do do anything. I know where this is leading to. Your pool's bigger than my <laughs> house, right? I do got some shrimps. Your pool, got, your, pool, your pool is bigger than my house, right? You know what? The place that you get wet in. It's bigger than my house that I stay dry in, right? That didn't sound right. <laughs> what, that I stay dry in my house or that you get wet in the pool? <laughs> no, but you're, you're full of Forget that. I mean, you know, at least you no, didn't. No, we do. We live in a nice house. At least you didn't have a gym to work out in, like, and you were, oh, you do have a gym I do house, have right? a gym, yeah. All right. Shrimp. Dude, we, I am so grateful and I'm so blessed. Before yeah, no. then, we were in an apartment. No, I so would be too. Literally, the, the timing of it is great that we're in yeah. a in a house. But at the and same time... What do you mean, before then, you were in an apartment? We were in an apartment. Oh, yeah, the, the penthouse from the Palm <laughs> Jumeirah that was also... The bathroom it was wasn't. bigger than my house. No. So, um, I have pictures of you in that bathtub. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when we did. And I remember I finding the them. this shoot. Dude, but nobody told me because I was in the States. Nobody told me <laughs> that I was in my boxer shorts in your bathtub no, doing like, a photo even, shoot. But I don't even know how I stumbled across those pictures. And I'm like, is that 
Ahmed. It's like that topless. background looks. Is that familiar, my right? bathing? My my bathing suit. My my bathtub. Like yes, yeah, when I did the, that shoot with Alex. Alex Whiteman, amazing, amazing photographer. photographer. Um, we'll put his link when yeah, we know how I think, to. I think he he. I think that part of the shoot was for his own personal gain. Because yeah, I, nev- I, I never used any of those no, pictures no, anywhere. Those pictures never surfaced. <laughs> Alex probably used them a couple of times, but I, I, I mean, I, they never surfaced or anything. Yeah. And I'm glad for that because it was a very strange feeling. See, that was cringe. Those pictures were cringe. Yeah. I mean, in a bathtub, half naked. There's no water in that. No, like, no, there was water in it. No. Yeah, there was. No, there wasn't. No, there definitely was. Nope. There definitely was. I'm going to make it shall my I mission tell you why to find. Shall I tell you why there was water in there? Why? Because the boxer shorts that I got wet, I hid in your room, and they're probably still there now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I left them for off. <laughs> you know, in case uh, he got bored of you, just oh bring out God. my soggy boxer oh shorts. Oh, God. And I remember because there was bubbles there, and I was trying to get the bubbles off my nipples. Okay, maybe. Yeah. But then you did one on the balcony. Like, yeah, the it balcony. was a proper. No, the balcony one were good. There was a couple on the balcony that were good. Yeah. That's when I was doing my Arabian nights. The best one were the desert shots. The desert shots, yeah. Sick. When I had a falcon, yeah, a falcon man, mm-hmm. which is, I think, you know, if Marvel need any superheroes of uh, ethnic backgrounds, <laughs> um, <laughs> Arab man. But people don't think you're Arab. No, people don't know where I'm so from. So when, like, do you hear people like speaking Arabic and like, yes, are they so ever talking you know how about many you? T- you know how many times I pretend that I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, even when I was in Egypt, I'd go to the markets and haggling. Yeah. Spend, oh, I'm spend sure. Ten, spend 10 minutes in English until they thought that. I'd wait till they f- thought they were making yeah. the deal of their lifetime. Yeah. And then flip in, not just Egyptian, <laughs> market Egyptian, <laughs> you know, to the point that they'd be like, uh, huh? <laughs> like, they want an explanation. That's and, amazing. Um, but yeah. But your brother looks Arab. My brother looks like Charlie Sheen. After he got AIDS. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, he doesn't. He looks Arab. Do you think? Yeah. Is it the black hair? Because I got like blonde hair and. Yeah, you have like lighter green features eyes. and green eyes. I put them into the light, maybe. <laughs> Gigi no. has green eyes. Right. Same as mine, though. Right. Same as yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's the thing. I, I. We were talking about this in the last podcast with Wes about the whole, being patriotic and and that. So, uh, like you know, I'm Lebanese, <coughs> originally, but. I, I don't feel Arab. Yeah. But then I don't feel English as well. Like, so but you've so never been to Lebanon. Never. So I was born in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. And then from there, after my dad passed away, we went to Cyprus. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, we went to Cyprus, to Limassol for five years. Wow. Wait, so you went to school in Cyprus. So wait for it. Where I picked up the name Michael. Okay, this <laughs> is something that not a lot of people know about. So for, for some reason, <coughs> I decided my name was Michael. Went home and told my mum... No, my name is Michael from now. And she was just like, okay. <laughs> so th- that, <laughs> great parenting. So that yeah. name carried all the way to London till I was about 15. You're joking. No, I'm so not joking. So nobody called you Ahmed? Uh, c- like friends in school and, and people like that. But there was people. So you'd, I'd go there now and there'd be people that only know me as Michael. So I'd be walking what? where my mum lives. And then, yeah, the old woman would be like, all right, Michael. And I'd be like, yeah. Like to the point where I got to school and then I was like, where did this Michael <laughs> thing come from? It's not my name. And then I was just like, yeah, none of that, mate. Like, wow. I, grew, I grew old enough to realize that my mom let me just change my name <laughs> out of nowhere. kind of cool. And uh, yeah, she kind of let me do what I want. For me, I w- I'd always tell people, like, if a guy would, like, hit on me or something, or, mm. like, at Starbucks. You'd be like, Michael. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Michael. No, I, my name, my go-to, I loved the name Tiffany. Really? Yeah. You, th- you think you could pass for a Tiffany? Totally. Dude, Talene... I heard everything. Talini, Weenie, Taliban, Talini. 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 Yeah. Talini. Yeah. Talini's an Armenian Every- name, right? Yeah. Okay. But weirdly enough, when I was in Armenia... You didn't meet one Talene. I didn't meet one Talene, and people were like, we've never met a Talene. So I'm like... Is it? Yeah, it was Maybe I'm it just weird. picked it up in China somewhere. I'm telling you. Know, you. Well, no, originally my name was supposed to be Alexis. Alexis. And I feel like that kind of suits me. Well, what are you, a speaker that tells you what time it <laughs> That's is? That's Alexa. Right? It's the same thing. <laughs> Both connected to the CIA. Yeah, exactly. No. You and her. <laughs> was it was it hard for you naming your kids? Uh, no. I mean, I mean, I love their names. To be fair, we had a few other names, and I did want to kind of go for that <coughs> kind of double let Z and Z and. Well, you thought they stuff. were girls. Yeah, they told us they That's were girls. That's crazy. Up till twenty one weeks, we had. Can a we baby. talk about how you told me that they weren't? Oh yeah. Because that's yeah, yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. So, so I want to talk about that as well. So if yeah. you want, if you want to talk about the whole. 
the issues before Gigi came and, and what we yeah, yeah, we then can. that story will make more sense. Okay, yeah. So I had, um, that's true. I had like... 12. 12. Yeah. No, I had three. Three. <laughs> I had three miscarriages. Okay. Um, and now I can, you know, laugh about yeah, it. Yeah. But obviously at the time it was, it was rough. And to be fair, we have a, a relationship where I'm sure we laughed about it two days after. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe after the first <laughs> That's one. That's why I had to ask you before the podcast, are we going to be us normally? Yeah. Because we have a certain level of, of humor that nobody would ever want to be our friends if, no. we, if they ever knew how we actually think <laughs> and, and how nothing is too soon and, and nothing is out of well, bounds. I think I, I was at your house when I found out that my grandmother passed away and you just looked at me and you were like, and? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it's pretty selfish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're like, she couldn't have picked another day. Yeah, right? And I was so upset at the moment, but then I just burst into laughter. Yeah, but yeah. but that's why I love mm. and hate being friends with you, yeah, right? Because yeah. it's like, and anyone else who could say that, yeah, like yeah. no one could get away yeah, with yeah, that. Exactly. So anyway, I had three miscarriages, 12 miscarriages, yeah. and uh, it was it was rough, you know, so and nothing was wrong. Mm. You know, we, we got all these tests and, you know, I thought maybe uh, it must be so confusing, right? Emotionally, it's like, rough. Like, like first yeah. one, you're like, it's me. I know it's me. And it's, then, then the second one, you're tough. like, it's definitely you. Yeah. And then, by then the you third. find out there's nothing wrong. And then you're just like, it's us. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you never want to going to happen. We never did like the whole blaming thing, right. you know, but. I did. I was blaming both of you separately. Uh, really? Time, yeah. I, I don't know. I was just kind. And and everyone tries to tell you something to make you feel yeah. better, right? Like They're when you like, break up with someone, there's always like, "Don't worry about it." And you're right. like, "You're not going you're through." You're not going this. through. Yeah, and yeah. it's so true. And to be yeah. fair, like they, you know, they're coming from a good place, mm. but. You know, you don't want to hear that. And, yeah. and everyone around me was getting yeah. pregnant, right? Yeah. Like I was, at ba my best friend was pregnant. I was getting, you know, invited to baby showers and this, mm. and, I'm, and you're happy for them, mm. right? But at the same time, you're kind of like, okay, when is it going to be my mm. turn? You know, we've been married for five years, like, and so, pregnant, pregnant people are telling you, don't worry, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, well, let me punch you in your stomach. Or they're sending me pictures one. of their How about we both lose this one now that you've got? Yeah. And let's see, are you willing to do that? <laughs> no, elbow it's, in their stomach. <laughs> Downstairs, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you, you know, you think all those things. So anyway, um, now, you know, we have a beautiful daughter and, and to anyone who's going through anything like that, I, mm. I feel your pain, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. Were, were, you, know? you, were you close to giving up? Where you kind of did no. you go through periods where you were like, oh, it's just not going to happen? Or? Well, I think th you know the the time where we had Gigi, we didn't give up, but we were kind of just mm. like, just let's just stop it, trying, yeah. you know, because mm. it was always like, okay, I'm ovulating, let's mm. go. It was very robotic, and then we actually went to Armenia. Mm. It was my birthday, and you know, we partied, we drank. Yeah. I, I didn't even realize that it was like mm. that was the week of ovulation or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I think letting go and kind of surrendering maybe that helped. But mm. again, my problem was never getting pregnant, right? Right? Mm. It was keeping the pregnancy. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't know what it was. It just wasn't meant to be at the time. And now I'm blessed with Funny how things change, girl. right? Before it was like the problem wasn't getting pregnant. It was keeping it. And in 15 years, the problem is going to be trying to get rid of it. <laughs> like, you know, 18 years from now, you're going to be like, why have I been time able to, to keep this for so long? But to be fair, even Gigi, she was born three weeks early, yeah. right? When she came out, I thought she was the most beautiful, gorgeous. I yeah, look yeah. at pictures now. And you're just like, Ugh. she just like, it was, she still looked like a placenta. Right? Like, yeah, it yeah. was terrible. Like, yeah. yeah. But I thought she was the cutest thing. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, we went to <coughs> get the scans. The lady's like, so you know what the sexes are? And I'm like, yeah, girls. And she goes, who told you that? I said, you. <laughs> yeah. And then she said, well, you see these. And then she put the thing over the willies right and then she was like girls don't have these oh my god what was your reaction were you kind of my, well my first reaction i didn't get it so i was like what do you mean <laughs> my girls goes, have dicks yeah <laughs> <laughs> so she was like girls don't have these and i was like okay but you we had a baby shower <laughs> right and then and i was a bit disappointed. <laughs> give me a refund <clears throat> i was a bit disappointed because like i have kayang my, my eldest son mm -hmm. he's seven foot nine and <laughs> 19 years old now or 18 <sighs> I um, believe that so when I was younger, before I had him, not that I had any choice in the matter, his mm -hmm. mom was just like, we're having this baby. And I was just like, mm. yeah, um, I wanted a boy. I was young. You want boys kind of thing. But as you start to get older, <coughs> you, you kind of want, you know, daddy's little girl yeah. and that kind of thing. So I was well up for having girls. I remember. Chose you were the girls so names. excited. I was really looking forward to it. And then when I found out there were boys, it kind of, it just switched over. Immediately? And yeah, yeah. Because... Um, I mean, I mean, now I couldn't picture them being yeah, girls. Of and thank God that they're not girls now yeah. because thinking about it, when they turn 15, Ooh. 16, 
that's the stuff rough. you're gonna have to deal with what i what we did to my dad like just it's being insane. around women it's tough and even and fashion twins, even fashion wise everything like even if you wear <coughs> clothes that are a bit revealing and stuff right the point isn't i, I don't want you wearing them I it's th yeah <laughs> The point isn't that I don't want you wearing them. It's the, the point that you have to try and get over to them is I don't want you wearing them now. Right. And they're, they're not going to understand no. that because they're going to be like, but you're wearing them. But let me tell you and something. And everyone else is wearing them. Girls with their fathers, mm. it's such a different relationship. Like yeah. the bond is like, it's forever. Whether yeah, yeah. you get married, whether mm. they will always be yours. Like the yeah. boys I'm sure are, are a little bit more <laughs> attached to a vet, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. So it's that's yeah. why I kind of wanted a Which boy too. Which is why I too. don't I don't like that either because it's yeah. I playing around with them all day. It's fun. It's hilarious, and they're yeah. loving it. And I'm the best dad in the world. Then one of them will fall over and go to his mum, and I'll be like, "Well, I, How about what about me? this yeah. dickhead? <laughs> I want to kiss it better too." <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Aww. Like there is times where they're very affectionate to me, but, but most you're their of the hero. times, but most of the times they need her. They want her. Right. When when they want to be comforted. And I don't like that. <laughs> See, Gigi isn't a, a daddy's girl yet. Yeah, she will be. I don't want her yeah, to be. she will be. I don't want her to be. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm in the south of France. Yeah. You send me a text message saying. What did I say? You it was said, something about. I'll tell you. You said, so we just got back from the ultrasound. That and the, something, the has, something has happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 right? Something's dot, dot, wrong dot. or something. Something's yeah. wrong. And yeah. in my head, you know, given what I had just been through, the second miscarriage, I'm like, oh, my God, shit. Like, what, what's going on? And then you say. Uh, the girls are wearing strap -ons. The girls are wearing <laughs> strap -ons. Yeah, yeah. And I was so confused. And I'm yeah. like, but he's just, he's taking the piss. Like, yeah, he's yeah. just having a and laugh then you at me. You, you replied with something really I still personal. thought they were girls. Yeah, you, That's yeah, you what replied it was. with something like, how could you do that? How da, could da, you da. say that something was wrong like, with everything like, I'm going through? Uh, yeah, and I was like, but strap on. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, sorry. it's really funny. Like, the way, and the way I structured <laughs> it and everything, the comedic time. That was brilliant, was right? Yeah, and I didn't understand why you weren't getting it. And then you were like, I spoke to Raf, and he doesn't think it's funny either. And I was just like, what's happened to my <laughs> friends? <laughs> uh, have I stopped being funny or are they not getting it? Or? You got to read the room. Yeah. You didn't, I don't and think you read the room. Well, right you were in Paris that. in another yeah. room, so I couldn't really read it that well. And then you got it and then you, you found it funny, right? And then I found it mm. funny, but I think I, I couldn't admit it yeah, you yeah, know, right? right away because yeah. I was just like, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I was so happy for you. And yeah. it, was, it was funny. So let's sing a song. Because Let's I not want, say on. we did. I, no, no, I want people. I haven't done I my Andy Felice. What other, if, for people who want to practice Bum, making uh, their voices better, what other, I know that Andy Felice. There's Andy Felice, there's I love you truly, which oh. helps you with like yeah, rums, that. R uh, runs okay. and rums. Um, what else? Do you know what would be good? Because you can sing and I clearly can't. So you can imagine, now, by no, the no, way. No, I've I, heard your like fake opera. No, it's like oh, really opera good. I can do. Opera I can do. <laughs> Let's <for sure>. hear it. <laughs> but anyway, but I mean actual singing. I mean singing what that. Mean actual, sing, no, that is the singing that any pinnacle. woman would find attractive. <laughs> okay, like, wouldn't it be funny if the only way music could come out would be to get two <laughs> artists to do a duet together? One can sing, one can't, and each line has to be one after the other. <laughs> For example, how does your brain work? For example, imagine this is how music was. So, think of a song. Mm. Honestly, the only songs I have in my head are Baby Shark. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> but I'm not going to sing that. Um, I keep on falling. Headed <laughs> out of love with <laughs> you. Sometimes I love you. Sometimes I feel blue. At times I feel good. At times I feel confused. <laughs> Loving you, darling. I don't know what comes next. <laughs> I, I keep on falling in and out, out of love. Pick a key. Pick a key. I, I've got all the keys. I'm the key master. <laughs> you are Alicia Keys. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, that's something that I always, I mean, because I, as you know, I'm, 
really talented. And you I, are. Can, I can do a lot of things, but I never, I could never sing. And I think. But a, you play guitar. A, yeah, yeah, but. You I rap. Think, I think it may be. I don't rap. You I just. Do. I put a couple of words together when and I was you younger. Rap. I thought it was cool. And then you grew rap. up and I was like, this weren't is. Weren't you in a horrible. boy band or was that one of those other lies you told me? Strip. Strip. Strip? I was a stripper. No, you were also in a boy band. Boy I was band? in a band. What movie? I was, I was in, in a band. Missed out fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Old Robin Beckett Williams. Here. I know. He was like one of the the truly great Gosh, comedians. Such a loss. Like uh, me and my brother were talking about this the other day. Um, I don't think American comedy is good. <coughs> Let me elaborate. Compared to British. Agreed. In a sense where... Except stand up. Brit yeah. I, like I love Bill Burr. Yeah. I love uh, Louis, Louis C.K. is my spirit animal. Yeah, there aren't a lot um, of British stand-up comedians. For example, when The Office, for example, I Ricky don't like Gervais, American Office. Yeah, Ricky Gervais. He made you feel cringy mm -hmm. for him. He made he was really awkward. I mean, Steve Carell like, is forced. Yeah, that's like British comedy. British yeah. comedy is is seven jokes within a joke. Yeah, it's a joke you're not gonna get until you're at home sleeping you wake up at <laughs> night and you're like oh my god that's the funniest thing i heard that's what it where was. american comedy is very kind of like yeah but right this is coming in, in in beats right do you know what i mean and yeah. it's very similar and and i mean i don't think i've seen any british show that's had that laughing score in the background yeah you know like friends and stuff but when it comes to people like robin williams i could never imagine anyone else playing more no. in mork and mindy no. do you know what i mean no. the, the ranges of his comedy um and I think it was a lot more kind of internal. He, he, he had so much going on inside. Yeah. And, you know, they say that comedy comes from a... Place of pain. Place of pain, etc. But, you know, his characters, everything. He, you, you can't... You can tell, though, that there was a lot going on in his there mind. I mean, how, how can you To be that function? funny. Yeah. To be that funny, a lot of us have to reach into that deep place inside. Is that what happens? No, no, but you... Like, Y y I don't think you can live a good life and be funny. And when I say good life, I don't mean just a good life. I mean a really privileged. Yeah. You know, you could be like, he put that fork in there. <laughs> right. Like, you know what I mean? But but not like, you have to go through stuff to be funny. And you have to yeah. be able to, to have lived 18 different lives. That's like what my sister always says. She's like, I hate when pretty girls try to be funny. Right? Like, you can't be that funny. Yeah, like, you're you, not, you've, you, you haven't, haven't had the pain it. of not yeah. being allowed in the club. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? To, to then see the things that happen outside the club, which are funny. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? It's so true. Nothing funny happens in the club. No, It's no. always in the queue outside, <laughs> outside. Right, and everyone else, you know, some guy with a bucket starts <laughs> making the drum kit, so puts his hat on the floor and, and you know. But Robin Williams was... was amazing his character did you see him on um inside the actor's studio have you seen that interview i i might have but not. you should definitely youtube it actually the host just passed away recently but it's when you watch that interview it's mm. just brilliant you really can see his brilliance yeah. like he starts talking to the audience and mm. and even his serious roles mm. i mean goodwill hunting is one yeah, of yeah. my favorite movies yeah. like him or patch adams i watched that not too long ago goodwill hunting wow but the thing is, he can, he can still be funny without being funny. Yeah. You know? It's and like, that's it's hard. like another one, Jim Carrey. Yeah. I think that if you muted Ace Ventura mm -hmm. and still watched it, it without would, any sound, still laugh. from his facial expressions, yeah. the way he moves his body and everything, you'd still be totally laughing. Do you know What's what I mean? What's your favorite Jim Carrey movie? <sighs> In, in which sense? I mean, in, in a good, in a, in a, in a non, comedy? non comedy sense, uh, <coughs> Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless yeah, Mind. That, that one's great. Um, in a comedy sense, it would probably have to be Ace Ventura. You know, I don't like Dumb and Dumber. Stupid. No, Dumb and Dumber was a bit, again, that was the, because you that had was to the bring other American, comedians into yeah, it, yeah. which weren't, it wasn't just him. Yeah. In Ace Ventura, he was the funny one, he was and the, the world lead, was yeah. normal. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? And there was just this fart Somewhat that came in normal. there, you know, and he was just all over the place. Yeah. But, um, Are you watching Last Dance, by the way? I am watching How Last Dance. We spoke about it in it? the last one. Wow. Yeah, it's... Like, even if you're I not a wait. basketball fan... That's what we said. I'd, you gotta watch it. And, and even if you're not a basketball fan, because it wasn't just about Jordan, yeah. who was a huge thing, it was also about the Bulls. Yeah. And, you know, you, everyone, when I was growing up, had a Bulls t-shirt or yeah. a Bulls hat or whatever, because yeah. it's such a global brand. It became Americana. It became yeah. the culture. Like, yeah. it's... It's brilliant. I mean, I, I just, and I love the way it's done. I like mm. that they highlight 
Phil Jackson and yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Dennis Rodman. And yeah. I just think it's so good. It We're good. hooked. We're they, hooked. They on did it. Kobe yet or not? They're gonna do more Kobe. I'm, they're gonna I'm do guessing. more Kobe. They did a little, a little bit. bit in, yeah, in there was a little bit, five. but um, I think they're gonna they're gonna do more. But I couldn't believe Barack Obama was on it. Mm. And it's it's really good. How old was Barack Obama when when Jordan just came out? It's a good question. Probably when he was in still his thirties. Right? Yeah. yeah, in Hawaii or something. I like. You know what? I like Barack Obama. I love him a lot. Trump, not so much. <laughs> I just I'm not like, gonna go there. I just feel like Trump is a. It's it's, it's a joke. Yeah. It, it's it's really strange. And and whenever I watch something about Trump or whenever I hear that you know when I whenever I heard it, that he became elected and stuff, I was kind of like. Yeah. Just looking waiting for the cameras. For the yeah. yeah. Like, uh, like you've been punked. You're waiting for Ashton Kutcher to come it's out. It's not April first. Right? <laughs> well, what is this news? I know it's. And um, and you know, to be to be honest, I think he's going to be reelected again. It's just he's not someone that should be a president. No. Like Obama, you would respect him. Yeah. Even from his tone, from the he way he carries himself. He was reassuring. I mean, yeah. they're like you know, at you the know. end of the day, they're the leader, right? Yeah. Like when they speak, they're speaking. Yeah. Either representing America, and mm. you you want to find. And he speaks like he's just having an argument with his friend when he's drunk. Yeah, like he's on you know the, I mean? the, the fucking shitter tweets. on Twitter, like yeah, at two a.m. It's nuts. Yeah, it's it's a joke. I feel like you shouldn't reelect him and just choose the Rock. You know, I love. I, I've always said the I Rock would be. be good. You know, I he think reminds me of Barack. Like yeah. when he talks yeah, and I, stuff. I, I Rafi and I have good. always said that. I think that The Rock would be good. I, there was a rumor that he was going to run. Uh, was that around the time that Kanye West was going to run? No, no. This was like a legit thing. I think he should. And I think he would get it. Yeah. Simply because of the amount of people. <laughs> Probably. Right? Because Trump. Got yeah, because it, so. The Apprentice But I feel it. like he could do something. I feel like even if he couldn't and even if real presidents can't really do anything. They can't anyway. I think anyway. he'd maintain a good image and Which he'd take what it we seriously. Need. Yeah. You know? Not yeah. like, like <clears throat> this Trump. This joke. I know. Who grew up playing scissors, papers, cock. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just, I don't Look, like he's a all. great businessman, but, but, it's, he, but it's this not thing, about that. He's not a great businessman. No, he is. He spent most of his career bankrupt and pretending he, he had stuff. No, he spent most of his career. There were there were reasons why he claimed bankruptcy. Those were all moves. Those okay. were strategic things. He wasn't actually bankrupt. He was always making money. He always had real estate. Mm. For that, he's. I will give but it. Isn't to it him. that he didn't own most of the in real estate, but he had his name on there, but he didn't actually own them? No, no, he owned, and he owns a lot of property out here too. But is this something you know, or just something that you're just I'm guessing? Talking about because, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm saying it with a really my, serious face. Most thing. of my facts are like that because I feel like <laughs> if, if you, you say it if confidently you say a fact, enough, yeah, if you say a fact, I believe to myself. Like, I've lived my whole life getting into places oh, I shouldn't I'm be sure. getting in <laughs> just by pretending I'm supposed to be there. Make it till you and, make it, and yeah, and then you know when they tell me I can't go in there, making a fuss, but making it in a way that they start to think, oh, maybe I should let this guy in because <laughs> I, could, I could lose my job right now. <laughs> it's insane. Somebody is trying to call my phone and they've been trying to call me for the last 10 minutes and I don't think that they know I'm on a podcast. Maybe you to should answer fair, and tell them. There's only four people who do know <laughs> I'm on a podcast. We go back to that same thing again. So what would you do differently? In life? With the singing. Oh, with the singing. Why, so why, why didn't you... Pursue? Was it one of those things where, you know, you had the, the contract and they were like, uh, yeah, we want to sign you everything, you, no, everything no, you so want. No, no, so I got signed. All you got to do is just sign on this... Well, there was, yeah, I mean, I... This cock there was, and I always got, you know, some yeah. of that. Hashtag me too. Yeah. Like, I mean, every woman in LA can mm. say that. I think every guy too. <laughs> yeah. Is a pretty weird person. Um, no, I mean, I, I got to do so much. I got, I got to open for Christina Aguilera, open up for her. Um, open the door to her yeah. trailer. Yeah. Just open it. Yeah. And uh, what no. What did you sing when you opened for How do you open for Christina Aguilera? So I, I had about an hour and a half set, which is a long time. And I sang. Of your stuff? Or? So I sang mostly originals. I had done okay. a whole album. Um, but then I had five or six <laughs> covers. One of them being Habibi Anur no Elayen. Yeah, because yeah. it, was, it was in Abu Dhabi, right? So I was oh, like, okay. I'm going to do an Arabic song. Okay. And I practiced like the words so much. And, and, there and was the crowd loved loads it. Loads of crowds. It was about 17,000 people. So did you not think, well, just before you did it, yeah. and you're going there, and like for me, I would have been like really excited, but then I would have gone, oh shit, nobody wants to see me here. <laughs> 
Well, not, it was funny not one of these people I know, are here for knows I'm going to be here I know. Or, or cares that I'm here. Well, you try to think more positively than that before you're getting on stage. But it's funny. Anytime I'd be like, Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Ah! So I kind of like kept doing yeah. it, you know? You just mix it in the words. Look, so, at yeah. the time, like she was my idol. So yeah. I was just so fucking happy that I could, Her over you know, Britney? Yeah. It's Britney. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, Britney is a pop icon, but mm. Christina vocally and artistically yeah, she can actually sing. she can actually sing <laughs> yeah. um but then funny enough you know i met her after the show and okay. it's like you know how they say like you don't want to meet your your don't yeah, yeah. don't ever meet your heroes yeah, yeah, because yeah. you'll be disappointed mm. and i totally was like she was such really? a bitch yeah she was just very aloof and i had i had rehearsed this whole of oh, everything that was gonna happen everything you would say a joke she would laugh about oh, it oh i thought say, we were gonna be oh best my god friends. you're amazing take my yeah. number and call me yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. this yeah, is yeah. this is what i imagined yeah. right and i just opened for her right it's mm. a big deal i'm like i was gonna say you know your last album got me through all this heartbreak and but of course none of that came out of my mouth she just it was went, like so I, she gave know. me a dead fish handshake uh. and just walked off and i was like and literally for Did about you literally go back to the room and then just have the conversation in the mirror anyway <laughs> because you practiced it <laughs> so you just, i did yeah. i did i just put my lipstick yeah, yeah, on my yeah. face and it was like the joker yeah. um no but for five years after that i couldn't even listen to her music no way yeah it was it was rough to it was that rough level to that level so anyway i got to do really really cool shit i was signed to i'm, I'm gonna name drop here a little bit i was signed for for the four viewers i was signed to jamie fox um, Wait, is this the same way that you danced in Pineapple Studios, or is it? No, no, no. This was okay. legit. I have okay. pictures, pictures to prove it. Um, I was, uh, I got to sing the national anthem at big basketball games and mm. uh, football games, and so I, you know, I, I've, I can't say I haven't. You know, I had a, I had a hit single in France and in France. In France, I was top forty on the Billboard going on and in Poland I got to go on stage the whole crowd knew the words you know so really? it's like I've gotten I've gotten glimpses of those yeah, yeah. things but to be honest as I got older kind of didn't want it I just didn't want it as much anymore and the fun was it was, was it the money and the and the lifestyle you could lead that made you want to do it never. or did you genuinely want to never I never ever did thought you about the just lifestyle wanna sing and have I just fans. wanted to sing I yeah. really just wanted to sing and then when it when it stopped becoming about that why did I have a mental picture of you being dragged through like, <laughs> sand? You know, in a, I just had like a, a war kind of like Armenia time thing. You're being dragged through the sand all day. Like in and slow mo. Just yeah. saying, I just want to sing. I just want to sing. I just want to sing. If someone was going, this is Turkey now. <laughs> no singing. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, and you know, it was hard to, like, my mom, of course, she was so supportive and mm. like, she wanted me to be this like superstar, mm. you know, and then for me to just, not stop because I'm still doing it, mm. but just my, my dreams kind of shifted. Mm. It was it was hard for her to like it must kind have of been hard for that. Love. What do you mean? Like me even being in the music business? Just in the same it's just obviously because she was like the you, kid in you, the corner. Yeah, you were the sister that was doing the music and stuff and she must have just been like yeah, but I'm so much better than you. I don't know why, <laughs> I don't know why you're getting all this attention. Like, no, I'm I mean, clearly the funny one. I'm, clear, I'm clearly the smart the, one. The be yeah, I'm clearly the better one. Um, Just because she can go, ha, 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 <laughs> you're giving her everything. To be fair, she was an amazing tennis player. She was okay. nationally ranked. Right. So she kind of had my dad's attention and she was in okay. newspapers for that. So we were both. I think your mom and dad were sitting there at night just like, playing cards totally. and you had both of you there and totally. they were betting with money oh, yeah, that totally. like she's gonna I'll, put, <laughs> yeah. I'll raise you one towel and he'll be like oh yeah whatever I'll raise you low <laughs> do you know what I mean but who turned out better mm -hmm. no I'm just so uh, in the end of it the moral of the story you're editing is, that out the, the money of the story I'm not editing anything <laughs> out um, low I'll get you one you know this and it's gonna be your uh, hit back but, but the moral that I got from both of that is that you're both failures yeah yeah but it's so much easier it's, yeah, it's so much easier it's, it's to be like, a failure in I life. Love, than to be I look at people who succeed, and I'm like, right? I'm exhausted for them. Right? You know, it's exhausting. Yeah, just having to keep that up the whole Fuck, time. Fuck, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. So I'm so much happier now, and like, mm. I, I have things that actually matter. You have shrimp. <laughs> so, I, got, I got shrimp. So I got my shrimp. You never have to work a day in your and, life. And and I sing, catch. I sing when I want to sing. I mean, look, the music business has changed so yeah. much from when I first started mm. till now, like you know with american idol with mm. you know the voice and it's it's all about just that one hit single mm. and y you know it's it's not about building careers you don't even have a and r's anymore mm. it's it's not it's not about the real music anymore yeah. it isn't i mean you do get a few of them out there yeah, of course you'll get the one that yeah the, the, the adele's the sam smith's and they they come out and they exist but 
it's just it's really fucking hard. Mm. It's re- and it's all politics and and yeah, and I, to I be just, fair, I'm over it. To be fair, like t- you know, to move on to your your next favorite singer, you I don't feel like you did enough drugs to be any good. Yeah, totally. Like I almost got there, but right? didn't you know quite. I mean? You were one snort away from actually from really being writing the a next good song. Amy right? Yeah, <laughs> like you know, like I feel like. Again, I think music comes from the same thing with, with the comedy, right? It yeah. comes from pain, pain and stress and and drugs. Yeah, but it was f- it's funny when I was younger, I would write these really painful songs, yeah. and my mom and dad they'd always be like, "Where is this yeah, coming yeah. from?" So I always kind of felt like I had a bit of an old soul because yeah, yeah. I would feel the pain, you know, yeah. even though I'd never, I didn't know what yeah, heartbreak yeah. was, I didn't know what yeah, well, like well, it's, not well, paying the bills was. Like I was five it's years empathy, old. Empathy though, you can, yeah, you know, some people have like I, I really have a. a a strong kind of empathy empathetic trait where i can really empathize with situations yeah. and people yeah you know so you must but have heard that from been a, through a lot age. too yeah yeah no not a lot of drugs but a I, lot mean, of life. I haven't yeah. done a lot of drugs either yeah which is why none of your music's any good <laughs> <laughs> brings me to this point i am putting out some new songs okay. um this year Let's get through. I, I feel like 2020. Let's just get through yeah. it. I just want to start at 2021. So yeah. by 2021, I'm going to have some new music. And like I said, now I'm singing when I want to sing, when I want to put some stuff out. And where, where, where do you want to put it out? What do you want to achieve by it? Is it a case of, you, I mean, like this, this, yeah. this podcast, I'm not doing it for, for a lot of money and all that stuff. I'm simply doing it because I watch a lot of podcasts. Yeah. And when I'm stressed or whatever, it, it calms me down. It's nice to see people having a laugh, having a joke. Yeah. And, and you, you know, it'll be on YouTube. You don't have to pay for it. It's not like yeah. people are selling it to you or anything like that. You're and for d- me, so you're doing it because you want yeah, people to be it. happy. Yeah, exactly. So is that where you are at with your music now? You're Absolutely. like, look, if, if, if one or two people like this, then totally. that's enough for me. Totally. Like, put it on. I mean, that's what I did with my I'll Christmas song, right? I'll send it to the four right? people who oh, follow great. me. <laughs> so I'll have four sales. <laughs> yeah. Right now. yeah, four sales. So are you going to no. try and sell it or put it out? I mean, no, I'll put it on iTunes. Like my Christmas song, you okay. know, I did a music video. I put that on YouTube and then I have it on iTunes. Mm. I don't make millions of money on it. I mean, it's, do you, do you again, make anything of it? Yeah, yeah. I make really? some money. Yeah, a couple hundred here and there. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I should make a Christmas song and I'll get, <laughs> get some more of that shrimp. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'm going to ha- have some music coming out and, mm. um, and see what happens. Where will they find it? Uh, on iTunes and then okay. I'll, is, is I'll there, promote is there an, it. Is there a name that you want to mention here or any of your ads or any of your Yeah, Talene Marie. Talene Marie is uh, is my name. Don't Sp- forget spell it. it out. T-A-L-E-E-N-M-A. Look, look, at, look at them when you're telling them. T-A-L. <laughs> <laughs> Shit got so serious. Yeah. T-A-L-E-E-N-M-A-R-I-E. Okay. Talene That's Marie. Instagram? The, well, no. My account is Talene underscore Marie okay. underscore. On Instagram. On Instagram. Okay. I'll and you, try you'll and be able to find everything. You can teach me how to put there. that in the video. Yeah. I'll, have to. <laughs> I'll teach you how to edit. All right. So also one thing I want to talk about quickly, yeah. um, you know, spoke about it with Wes and I think I want to make it a, a feature on this, not to kind of make the end of every episode morbid, but I want to talk about death. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just your views on it. I, li- I really, I've always been, since I was young, very fascinated with the whole concept. And I, and I want to know your kind of views on it. Mm-hmm. Do you ever think about it? Is it something that crosses your mind a lot? Is it? T- to be honest, since I've had my daughter, I've been thinking about it more. more yeah. I'm like, because um, now you have more to live for, right? right? I'm like, God forbid something happens. Actually, on my way over here, I was thinking about well, what if I got in a car accident? Like, yeah. what if that's the last time I'm going to see my daughter? When you and have you a kid. you didn't do this podcast. I know. Right? <laughs> Forget your daughter. Yeah, but but that's yeah. the priority. Just wasted a whole episode. Right. Yeah. Um, so when you have a kid, you definitely think about it more. But mm. my take on it is um, I, I, there's got to be something beyond. I want to think, I want to believe that there's something beyond. Mm. Um, you know, I saw this really cool article that, um, you know, when there's, there are these two babies in a womb, twins, mm. and they're talking to each other, right? And they're saying, one of them is saying, you know, this is it. There's just darkness. We're stuck in here, right? Mm. And the other ones, no. There's got to be something. We're getting. We have a. We have a tube. There's nutrients. There's mm. something coming. So they're having this fight, um, and then surely enough, you know, they're born, and mm. and that kind of symbolizes, 
the unknown, right? Mm. That, that there's life beyond that, but that's mm. all they knew. So that's kind of how I like to think about it. It's a bit more optimistic. I don't, I don't want to think Wrong. that it's all. No, I'm just I don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. want to think that it's all lights out because no, then yeah. what is, you know, what does it mean? Do I believe that there's, you know, that we turn into butterflies and reincarnation? I don't know. Do I believe that we're all in heaven, mm. you know, having a drink, having a laugh? I hope that would be cool. Um, but, but the thing is, I mean, I like my feet. I like my hands. I like, well, I, like, I don't I think like, you're going to come back with I like them. feelings. Yeah. And everything, all these feelings, this this air, sight. You mean physical sound, touch. Sound. Yeah, physical. Yeah, all of that stuff. You wouldn't need in, in an afterlife. Or, or but you don't know. Yeah, but how? why would it? Because your lungs let you breathe. Remember the baby your, in the womb? Yeah, but they need everything that they've got. Do you see what I'm saying? They come out in that body and keep it. But we're 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 getting everything we want right now. But then we leave. But they okay. leave too. Okay. But they leave the womb as they are. We leave. We this. don't know though. No, but we do know because you dig up a dead body six months later, it's still there in the ground. Okay, fine. So what I'm saying is, Damn it. <laughs> I like I like all of the earthly things. Like I like seeing people smile. I like seeing this. But I like smells. But you might you might that. in a different. But you wouldn't because you wouldn't have the body. So in that but sense, your soul, you might, be, your right. soul might, might but, be but in a different. But does your soul smell? Does your soul see? Does your soul, no, or I, is it I, consciousness? I think your soul could maybe re-enter into new life. Into a new body, like, yeah. uh, like a new sleeve. Yeah. Like altered carbon. Yeah. Wrong. So, <laughs> no, yeah, I know. What I was, mean, I'm, I, totally I'm curious to know what it. Wes said. What, Wes? Wes, yeah. Yeah, he, he was kind of like, I don't really think about it. You really? Know, I don't know kind of thing. That's how Rafi is too. He doesn't but actually ask I think, him. I, I want to get I think his you opinion. have to. I think you have to be aware of it and you have to I mean I think about it every day. Every single day Do I think about it. Do you think about, about the fear not, of it or yeah, just just no, I just think about that last second. Yeah. The transition between life and death. That's it. The trans the transition between death and what's after. You know, and it could be nothing, could be heaven, could be hell, could be whatever and but just that losing everything in this world, yeah. And I, and it's not material things at all. It's no, not. Of course it's not, not cars, and that it's it's never being able to see my sons again. Yeah. It's not being able to speak to my wife again. It, it's it's not being able to just sit down. But on, you on won't the beach. know that. You know what I mean. You won't know you that. Won't but if your conscious. soul continues, will you know that? That's what I'm saying. And the, the the fascinating thing about all of it, since the beginning of time, people have tried to find the answer, and they never have. And do I don't think they do ever will. Do you believe those? You know, people say they have these like death no. near experiences and then they see the light at the end of the tunnel they see you know yeah, I, I, you I believe i believe they do see that but i don't believe it is what it is because i believe it's just chemicals in the in the brain that are being released and and yeah and that happens but i'm i don't believe in past lives no no i don't believe that but then how do you explain deja vu okay i might believe in past lives but i don't believe in people knowing they had a past life i don't believe in someone telling me Oh, I was a, a, and being very specific. And I know exactly I was, who yeah. you're talking about. I don't believe in people telling me I was an angle grinder in Cumbria in, in 2004. And I, I, had a, I had a fight with Steve. Right. And that's why I, 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 I walk like this now. Because right. Because he hit me with an X. And, and if that was your father. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. I don't believe because, I mean, who are you to be the chosen one to, t to be able to tell people where they, I agree. they come from? I agree. So I, I mean, I might be wrong. I, I might be wrong. But I don't believe it. Like, like, there's a guy called my brother. Uh, put me onto him. His name is the Amazing Randy. You know the Amazing Randy. Mm -mm. So he's a magician, old guy now, and uh, illusionist magician and all that. And he's put up, it has done for the last 40, 50 years, a million dollars to anyone that can prove that they are telekinetic or they can do wow. things or they can move things or they can read minds or whatever. And until now, there's not been one person who's been able to prove it. So they'll come and do it, and he'll tell them, "No, you did it like this. You did it like this. You did it like this." Wow. Until now, no one's won it. So, I mean, I'm sure somebody would have taken it by now. I don't know. There are four people who are watching this. If one of you they can do this, can do it. If one of you, if one of you can do this, and you can tell me what's going to happen. Yeah. And again, I wouldn't want to live forever, forever either. I just, no. don't, I just don't want to think it's a lost cause. Look, we're both healthy. Knock on wood. No, that doesn't mean anything. I know. <laughs> Gonna die. <laughs> no, but I mean. Look, you just have to live every moment, as cliche as it is, yep. and, and focus and on on, uh, on the things that matter in life, not material things, not shrimp. Not shrimp, right? Um, but shrimp does help. Do you have any shrimp with you? I feel like you just carry loose shrimp in your bag. <laughs> <Just> <laughs>
<laughs> like loose. I got some uh, in my Some car. bang bang yeah. shrimp just sitting there ready. Like, <laughs> some jumbo waiting. shrimp, some cocktail sauce. Amazing. Dude, it's been amazing to have you. Thank you, believe you for it. having me. I was gone so no, long I, already. I can't. And you're already like, I want to come do this again. I right? do. Because it's like you feel like Once there's I so s- much more to me than people I know, have seen. I know. Yeah. No, yeah. No, this was amazing. fun. Thank you yeah. for having me. Jabber. Jabber with Jabber. Jabber with Jabber. Jabber with Jabber. Jabber with Jabber. That was awesome.